Well, they're a brilliant dancer. We, we always thought the dancers were very strong in this show, but of course they weren't getting the kind of global attention that, that Susan was getting. Uh, but no, and I spoke to her about that yesterday. She, she was very happy to lose to diversity. She loves them, thinks they're terrific role models for Britain. At a time when, you know, the country's going through a pretty tough period. We've got all these greedy bankers and corrupt politicians giving Britain a pretty bad name. And Susan and I think diversity in different ways have really restored some pride in our country. But Susan said she wished them all the best. She thought they were the better act, which was typically gracious of her. Losing didn't cause her any problems at all and nor did taking part in the show. She felt utterly blessed to be in the show. She can't believe what's happened to her. She is living her dream but the relentless global media attention just freaked her out a bit and to be honest with you I think it would freak any of us out. The incident that led to her going to the clinic wasn't that dramatic actually I mean I really think that for about 90% of the time since her audition was shown on British TV and obviously went around the world on the viral internet Susan's been able to handle it with remarkable confidence. Um, I think what happened after her semi-final performance she she got a bit of negative press in Britain and uh, she began to get a few headlines about her behaviour. She was having a few arguments with journalists and so on. And I think it all began to boil up and, and the pressure of appearing in the final and everyone expecting her to win. And, you know, I spoke to her three or four times in the week and she was really beginning to feel the pressure and she wasn't sleeping, she wasn't eating. And, you know, my heart goes out to Susan. She's a, a lovely, very ordinary lady from a little village in Scotland who's gone through this incredible period of her life. Um, but I feel with a bit of rest and a bit of time to calm things down that hopefully she'll come out very soon and get to work on an album which is what she really wants to do and I think it'll be biggest selling album of the year.